Hey guys, Desol back here in the Nerd Cave. And to start off 2021, I want to do a series of videos kind of showing off my collection. And I'll do this in multiple parts. Uh, this is going to be part one, which is just going to quickly go through my DVDs. And, you know, I keep, I think we've talked about this before, in the Nerd Cave, I keep mostly, so these are all my DVDs. Some of my wife's are kind of thrown in here too. My kids have a ton of DVDs that are just like kid stuff, like Sesame Street and some Disney movies. So I'm not going to include that in this. Just going to include what's in the, the Nerd Cave for the DVDs. I am going to have um, one of the parts talk about just uh, show off some of my non-horror or non-boutique steelbooks and 4Ks and other Blu-rays. That'll be a different part. So here we're just going to focus on the DVDs. Now, I'm also going to show the some of the box sets I have right up there. And this is different. I kind of just, I changed this around just for this video. I also, usually up here, I keep some of the signed Blu-rays, which... I'll show in a different video. And, you know, I was thinking about doing a standalone video just with my signed stuff, but I think I've already done that. So I've just kind of thrown it in in the mix um, and just show it off when, you know, I go through. So it's not going to be a deep dive, not going to be an unboxing video. Just going to quickly kind of go through, like I said, part one will be my DVDs. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so let's start off with just the box set. So right up here, like I said, I threw my box sets up here just so I make it easier for the video. First one up is the uh, Seinfeld Complete Series. Um, I got this years ago on Amazon, I think at the time for like 90 something bu bucks, which was a good deal back then. And uh, real quick, this is, oh, this is a heavy set. Comes with uh, all nine seasons plus a coffee table book. Next up is the uh, Stewie Head. I believe it's the first six seasons plus the Stewie movie and Blue Harvest. So this is what it looks like with the, uh, the head off. See the Blue Harvest movies, and it's got up to volume six, which I believe is what they meant was season six. Next up is my Tales from the Crypt set, all uh, seven seasons. And this is a cool one. This is very, one of my first collector set I ever got. This is dating back to early 2000s. A buddy of mine, when I was in college, used to work at FYE. So he got this for me on a uh, employee discount, which I desperately needed back then because in college I did not really have the money to start a huge collection. So this is pretty cool. It has um, the first movie plus a movie still. Um, it also has, I believe, the um, it's like Stanley and Kevin Smith documentary and um, a reprint of Spider-Man's first appearance in comics. So that's pretty cool. And down here, and I, th I think I talked about this, I, this is set up by genre, alphabetically. So it goes with the um, kind of superhero movies, and it goes to horror, um, action, drama, comedy, uh, some of my wife's stuff's in here, you know, quote-unquote chick flicks, and some kids' stuff, cartoons, and TV shows. So let's just get started up here. First up is the Ultimate Avengers um, animated movie. Batman Begins, Batman Dead End, which was a fan film where the Batman is fighting the Joker and Predator. I believe he's, there's a couple other ones in here too, I believe. I think the aliens show up too. Captain America, um, the first two movies from the 70s. This is actually a Shout Factory release, uh, so you may see this in my uh, Scream Factory slash Shout Factory um, video. Daredevil. Um, this actually I bought from Blockbuster as kind of like a previewed um, video. Um, got it on sale. So you can tell. I can open this up. It's got the Blockbuster label in there. Uh, the unreleased Roger Corman Fantastic Four movie. Picked this up at one of the many conventions I've been to. Uh, the 2000s Fantastic Four movie. Uh, Ang Lee Hulk. Hulk versus. Pretty cool in particular. I hate that they put the sticker on this. I'm not even going to try to get that off. Uh, kind of another bootleg, um, the complete 80s um, Hulk cartoon. Masters of the Universe. Um, Snapcase, uh, saw, uh, signed by Dolph Lundgren. 
Thomas Jane's Punisher. Sin City for $22.99 at Best Buy. Uh, another copy of Spider-Man widescreen. I believe the one in here might be full screen, I think. Let's see if we can... No, it doesn't have anything in the back. Spider-Man 2. Um, another uh, bootleg Spider-Woman um, 70s cartoon series. Which is actually... Spider-Woman is on Disney Plus right now. And for some reason, I really wish the 80s Hulk was on Disney Plus, but it's not. Maybe that's tied up. I don't know. I don't. I think Universal has the movie rights. I don't know why the um, cartoon isn't on there. Um, it's the Fleischman uh, Superman cartoons in a kind of weird kind of box case, paper case. Uh, Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut. Spider-Man 3, uh, Spider-Man, Superman 3, um, snap case with Richard Pryor, my, uh, definitely my favorite Superman movie. It's not everyone's favorite, but I do enjoy it. Uh, Superman 4, Quest for Peace, snap case. There we go. Uh, Toxic Avenger, I know it's not really a superhero movie, um, it's not really quite, quite a horror movie either, so I kind of kept it with the superhero stuff. Um, this one is signed by Lloyd Kaufman. This is the 21st anniversary edition. Um, here's another uh, version of the Toxic Avenger. This is the um, unrated director's cut. I believe this is a director's cut as well. Um, part two on DVD, also signed by Lloyd Kaufman. Uh, part three, <laughs> The Last Temptation of Toxie, signed by Lloyd Kaufman. And part four, and you guessed it, signed by Lloyd Kaufman. Now, the cool thing about that is at the conventions where I get the signed, it's usually at Monster Mania. Um, he will, if you buy something, he'll just sign it for free. Or if you bring something that's trauma, he'll sign it. So I already had a couple of these that I brought to conventions, and I also picked up the rest. Um, Unbreakable. Really nice um, kind of slip case. Another snap case of A Nightmare on Elm Street um, 3. Which is the only... I guess I have Freddy vs. Jason down there. But this is really the only Nightmare on Elm Street movie I have on DVD, believe it or not. Uh, American Werewolf in London. Uh, $11.99 at Best Buy. <laughs> I don't know how long or old this is. Still not even opened. Uh, Boogeyman. Uh, killer compilation. Pretty cool. It's just like a compilation of a bunch of scenes from the movie. It's almost like... Um, that recent release from Scream Factory, um, Terror in the Isles, it just kind of shows a bunch of clips from the movies. It's not really, I don't think it's really a documentary. I think it just kind of shows a bunch of compilation scenes. Four film collection of Critters. There we go. <laughs> um, I had to pause the video. It was a pain to get out. Uh, Creepshow, uh, Snapcase, um, signed by Adrian Barbeau. Dawn of the Dead, um, the uh, Divimax um, special edition version. I just pre ordered the 4K Dawn of the Dead from Second Sight, the second version, the kind of the, the quote unquote standard version. Um, which I'm glad they pulled, you know, they, they came out with that. I didn't really want that whole big box set with the with the different books and everything like that, the $100 set. And, you know, I never listened to the, you know, they come out with the CDs and stuff. I never listened to them. So I'm definitely glad that they came out with a much more affordable set. Another snap case, uh, Dreamcatcher, Stephen King. It's a um, Elvira set, movie macabre. It's the Maneater of Hydra. And the house that screamed. Freddy vs. Jason. Friday 13th. Um, this is also signed um, by the first Jason. Um, Adrian and Adrian King. Uh, Friday 13th. Uh, the final chapter. Friday 13th part 7. The new blood. I'm thinking about just getting rid of this. I, You know some of these I, I definitely have <laughs> additional copies of or have blu-ray sets of love this one it's one of the best movies of the series and the coolest cover 
Then Paramount started kind of releasing these with like different artwork, which not that great, but it's hard to get rid of stuff, so I may just keep it. Uh, from Dust Till Dawn, uh, Dimension Collector Series. Fright Night 2, an artist, the Artisan release. And it is signed by William Ragsdale. The Gate. Uh, bootleg of The Gate 2. Pick this up. A lot of these bootlegs I pick up at uh, the, the horror conventions. Uh, Halloween 2. Haunt. Haven't watched this yet. Had it for a while. I know they just came out with the Blu-ray version of it. His name was Jason. Um, really awesome documentary. I believe this came out... Whenever I do this, I can never find it. Um, 2008. Hostel. Which I actually got from Netflix. So, I don't know if you remember, you know, back, at the, back in the day when they actually sent you discs. And apparently they still do that. I didn't know that. Um, you were actually able to go into the site and buy used DVDs. And so I got this for a really good price back then, at least. The Howling, The Howling 3, The Marsupials. Now, they need to come out with a collector set. If Scream Factory or, or someone else came out with a set, that'd be great. Not all the movies are great. Um, the first one's great. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I do have a soft spot for part five. I think that's the one we're in the castle. But Stephen King's It, the uh, TV, uh, TV uh, miniseries. Jason Goes to Hell, Jeepers Creepers, Maximum Overdrive, Monster Squad, uh, Murder Lust, uh, it's an Intervision release, plus Project Nightmare. Haven't watched this yet, really want to pick this up at my last Severin uh, pickup, and... Yeah, I've heard good things about it, so I want to watch it. Uh, my Demon Lover. I actually, I also have this on Laserdisc. I should do, I should do my Laserdiscs too. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you want me to do my Laserdiscs. Um, I wasn't really going to include it in in these videos, but I might as well. Anyway, my Demon Lover. Um, this is another bootleg. Um, weird movie. It's one of these movies that I watched as a kid that I never would get from the video store just because of the name of it. So as a little kid, I was I didn't want to say lover when I asked for the video at the video store. Um, but yeah, it's I'm not sure if it really holds up anymore, to be honest. But uh, next one up, Night of the Demons. The Ring. Salem's Lot snap case. I love my snap cases. Uh, Scream Greats. Uh, this is another one that I picked up at a convention. It's a, kind of a Tom Savini... Um, hosted documentary. The Forsaken. The Lost Boys. Yeah, I know. I I put it. I put my. I put these with the the with the T's because of the. I know a lot of people do, and I, I'm not consistent with it because the howling is with H, and this is with the T's. I know. I I I might redo that. Anyway, Snapcase. This is my first DVD I've ever owned. Um, my girlfriend at the time, who is now my wife, um, got this for me. So I'll never get rid of it. Uh, Lost Boys, uh, two-day special edition. The Prowler, got this on Hamilton Book about a year ago. Wanted to pick up the Blu-ray, I got the DVD instead. That's okay. Uh, the Shed. Which is actually a really good release. It's one of those kind of uh, Walmart horror movies, uh, but it's pretty good. It's kind of like a cross between... Well, it's kind of like Fright Night in a way, but it's pretty decent. The Stuff. Never can get enough. They Live, which is another blockbuster pickup. To Die For, which I think is another... Yeah, it's another bootleg. It's a vampire movie. Uh, the Wraith. Underworld, another convention pickup, and it's Werewolf the Series. Uh, this is a show that was on Fox. 
that scared the hell out of me as a kid, and I was probably like seven or eight at the time when this came out. Uh, great show. I think it only lasted one, se uh, one season. I know there's a, I believe it's a German release. Um, they had it on Diabolic DVD that I, I put on the wish list. I put on, I'm, I'm on the wait list for that one. I know it's sold out, but it's an, it's an actual, it's a DVD release, but it's a more of a legitimate release. You're not going to get this in the U.S. Just there's a lot of rights issues with the music and stuff in there. But I hope I can pick that up eventually. Uh, Zombie Hunter, City of the Dead. I don't know this. They were kind of giving these out, out at a convention one year. Back to the Future, my complete DVD trilogy. Uh, my kids are in the other room now actually watching the 4K version of this. Independence Day. The Day After Tomorrow, a previewed blockbuster pickup. Last Starfighter. Men in Black. Men in Black 2. Reign of Fire, which is, I really enjoy this one. Signs, another blockbuster special. Star Trek First Contact. Star Trek Nemesis, another blockbuster one. And this one gets a bad rap. I, I, I like this one. Here is my special edition Star Wars DVD trilogy set. Widescreen version. I think the full screen was the gold edition. Coming down here. Okay, let me get down here. Uh, Transformers. Pretty nice slip, clear slip cover. So now we're getting into. Okay, so we did the comic book movies, we did the horror, we got into sci fi. Just finished sci fi, now we're getting into action. Uh, too Fast, Too Furious. Another blockbuster pickup. Ten movie action pack <laughs> for four ninety nine. I don't know any of these movies other than some of the... Uh, I think some of the Chuck Norris ones, maybe. Cobra Snap Case. Conan Complete Quest, the first two. Conan the Barbarian and the Destroyer. Um, over the top. Um, four film favorites, Lethal Weapons, one through four. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Top Gun. Triple X, Blockbuster. American Beauty. Bad Lieutenant. Casualties of War, really great war movie. Michael J. Fox, Sean Penn. Okay, next one up, Copycat. Fahrenheit 9-11. Freeway, really great movie. Um, it's kind of like a modern day Little Red Riding Hood movie. It's kind of crazy, but great. Uh, Godfather DVD collection. Magnolia. Ocean's Eleven, Scarface, Tango and Cash, best 80s cop movie, don't even try to argue that, Warriors, 40 Year Old Virgin, Along Came Polly, uh, An Evening with Kevin Smith, Airplane, Airplane 2, the sequel, Airborne, Great 90s um, rollerblading movie. <laughs> uh, Armed and Dangerous. Uh, triple Feature, Bachelor Party, Back to School, and Weekend at Bernie's. Snap Case of Beetlejuice. Big Daddy. Big Trouble in Little China. As you can tell, we are now into well into the comedy. Uh, Bill and Ted's Ex Excellent Adventure and Bill and Ted's Bonus Journey Double Pack Unopened. It says it's a Target exclusive, but I don't know if that's true. Uh, Billy Madison. Blazing Saddle, 30, 30th Anniversary Special Edition. 
10th anniversary of Clerks. I picked this up because we were going to go to a convention where Kevin Smith was going to be... Was it Kevin Smith? Maybe? I forget who was going to be there, but we were going to get this signed. This would be really nice with like a white pen and everything, but it didn't happen. It was right at the beginning of all this craziness, so it got cancelled. Uh, Clerks 2. Dream a Little Dream. Got all of the Corys. Uh, Christmas Vacation. I don't know why I, <laughs> I paused there. Clueless. Coming to America. Uh, double feature, Crocodile Dundee and Crocodile Dundee 2. Earth Girls Are Easy. Another one that I never liked to rent from the video store back in the day. Um, Elf. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. Family Guy, another copy of the Family Guy Stewie movie. Family Guy, uh, the second uh, Star Wars parody. The something, 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 Dark Side. Fanboys. Girl Next Door. Loved this movie back in the day. Still pretty good. Ghostbusters. You know, these, this had a really cool, uh, from what I remember, um, like menu kind of title screen. Grind. So I got Airborne, which is a 90s um, rollerblading movie. And now I have Grind, which is a early 2000s, I think, maybe. Late 90s. I don't remember doing it again. Can never find the... Uh, 2004. So I got that in early 2000s skateboarder movie. Um, gross Point Blank. Happy Gilmore. Half Baked. Harun Kumar, Triple Feature. Uh, White Castle, Guantanamo Bay, and their Christmas special. Throw that up there. Um, Hanging Out. It's part of the Lost Collection. History of the World Part 1. Um, Ingrid Goes West. Haven't watched this yet. This is actually a Dollar Tree pickup. Just one of the guys. I'm going to stick to it. This is much better value than getting the Blu-ray. Unless the Blu-ray has gone down in price. But I'm sticking with that. Because that was like 4 or 5 bucks Versus 28 I'm going to stop ranting over that. Anyway, um, License to Drive. Double feature of Like Father, Like Son and vice versa. I know Mill Creek just released Like Father, Like Son on their uh, like VHS slip edition. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick it up since I have it on this. Although it is only like $8.99, so it's not that much of a deal, big deal to upgrade. Another double feature, Look Who's Talking and Look Who's Talking 2. Mannequin. Mean Girls. Modern Problems. Mr. Deeds. Uh, three Monster Laugh Pack. It's Monsters Go Home. Monsters Revenge and Monsters. It's this is actually a family portrait. I think is an episode. Multiplicity again. I was looking to get the Shout Factory of Monsters Go Home, but again, that's like 25, 28 bucks. Where this whole three pack, I think, was ten bucks. And I think it came with. Let me know if this happens to you guys. So I bought this, um, and then all of a sudden, this was on my. Um, when I go to like my Google Play or Voodoo, this movie's in there. And I never got a, um, what do you call it, code or anything like that. But it's in there. So I have a digital copy of this. I don't, it's weird. It's, it's happened with a couple of movies. A couple of movies in there, I swear. I don't own, um, but I have the, the, what do you call it, the digital copy of. Let me know in the comments, have that, has that happened to you? Do you know what that's about? Multiplicity. My Best Friend's Girl. Another Lost Collection, My Best Friend is a Vampire. Great uh, vampire comedy from the 80s. My Cousin Vinny. Love this movie. I grew up watching this movie. My stepmother is an alien. It's not a great movie, but to me, it's a classic. Can't wait. I'm just going to take them both out. Don't know why they're stuck together. Office Space, Special Edition. Old School. 
Once Bitten. Great, great, great movie. One Crazy Summer, Snap Case. Pee Wee's Big Adventure, it's in my top five all time movies, Snap Case. I don't know, do they, it's blue, do they have a Blu ray of this? I don't know if they do. Howard Stern Private Parts. Uh, Problem Child Collection, first two. Repossessed. Another Lost Collection. Does not hold up. Richard Pryor Stand Up Collection. Um, which ones are these? Here Now and Live on the Sunset Trip. Best Christmas movie ever. Um, Scrooged. I'll watch it in July. Silver Streak. I went to pick this up on Blu-ray, and it goes for crazy money, so I guess it's out of print, uh, but I was able to pick up the DVD for a fraction of the cost. Another one where I don't know if you really need the Blu-ray. Soul Man and 18 again. This is another... You know, they had a they had a kind of a streak going in the 80s with these kind of switching body movies. You know, you had um, Like Father Like Son, vice versa. You also had... Dream a little dream, and then you had 18 again. So, I don't know, that's four movies, so it's definitely a theme going on. And Soul Man, which doesn't really match up, but you know, you cannot, there's no way you can make Soul Man now. Uh, South Park movie, Spaceballs, Spies Like Us, Snap Case. Step Brothers. When is that sequel coming out? Stir Crazy. Another uh, another great um, duo with Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor. Stranger Than Fiction. Love that movie. Summer Rental. Got it for like four bucks on Amazon. Superbad. Swingers. Teen Witch. So cheesy. So great. So, such a... Again, I'm going to go for the year. I want to say, yep, 80, 89. I mean, there's this rap scene in here that is so douche chilly. But it's kind of... You got to watch it. <laughs> you got to watch it to, to understand it. Uh, Naked Gun Trilogy. Got this from the bargain bin at Walmart. Back when I was brave enough to put my hands in the bargain bin. Uh, Private Eyes, uh, Tim Conway, Don Knotts. This is, I think, a... Yeah, this is a pickup I got from a convention. Wedding Singer, Snapcase. The Man with Two Brains, Snapcase. The Toy, love this movie. Watched it a lot as a kid. Richard Pryor, love Richard Pryor. You watch it now, it's kind of weird. And another time when... Yeah, I don't think they can make this movie now either. But it's definitely... Again, you'd have to watch it to understand what I'm saying. Uh, two movie collection, three men and a little in a two. I'm sorry, three men and a baby, and three men and a little lady. Uh, I love the '80s. Another one collection uh, without the snap, without the, uh, the case. I don't know where it is. The uh, slipcase. Uh, trading places. These are cool. They come with a. Oh, these are the annoying ones with this little snaps here, so I'm not going to bother opening it. But it comes with a, um, like, Best of the 80s CD in there. Transylvania 6 5000, another one I watched all the time as a kid on HBO. Does not hold up. Waiting. Wayne's World double um, collection, two-pack. Wedding Crashers. When Harry Met Sally. Young Frankenstein, rest in peace, Clarice Leachman. 27 Dresses. This is the Wife's. <laughs> Across the Universe. Almost Famous. These are actually all the Wives. Um, Chasing Liberty, Snapcase, Still Sealed. Um, Charlie's Angels. Freddie Prince Jr., um, down to you. Okay, so we've gone through the comedies. Now we're into the quote-unquote chick flick section. Okay, let's go down here. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. 
Jerry Maguire. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. The Notebook. Because no, no collection is complete without it. <laughs> it's the wives. Uh, Picture Perfect. Pretty Woman. Save the Last Dance. Sex in the City. The Sweetest Thing. Urban Cowboy, another one of the I Love the 80s collection. Which is mine, mixed in with the wives. Um, the Wedding Planner. Working Girl. This is mine. This is a great movie. Harrison Ford. Um, Melanie Griffith, Sigourney Weaver. Great 80s movie. I will own that all day long. That that's mine. Um, Garbage Pail Kids, the movie. Grease. Um, it's a weird... It's, it's full screen, yes. But it's kind of a cool case. Shrek. Uh, Shrek in 3D. And yes, we have the glasses. I had trouble putting that back. <laughs> um, Song of the South, Bootleg. Um, Snapcase, Wizard of Oz. Tron, 20th Anniversary Edition. Another Snapcase, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. So now we're kind of into the kids stuff. Um, and now into getting into the holiday stuff. Uh, this was a, a kind of a gag gift to my wife uh, for movie collection. Of, like Hallmark movies. Christmas Story. My kids watched it for the first time this year and they actually loved it. Elf Story. You know, one of the Elf movies. Um, holiday Collection. Four pack. Of, uh, peanuts. Uh, Santa's Magical Stories. Um, collection. This is a cool one. Comes with Dr. Seuss. Comes with The Year Without Santa Claus. Um, Jack Frost. Rudolph and Frosty's Christmas in July. All the kind of cool stuff that used to be on TV all the time back in the day. Another collection with your staples. You have Rudolph, um, Santa Claus, and Frosty. A really cheesy Easter Bunny movie. And now we're getting into some... Only a couple of like music CDs, uh, DVDs. Uh, Dixie Chicks. Uh, concert for George Harrison. Metallica, Year in the Life. A year and a half in the life, part one and two, and it's a snap case. Uh, Metallica, some kind of monster. Um, some random sports one, uh, 2009 World Series. Back to the Future, the animated series, season one. I got this for like three bucks at FYE. Um, bootleg of He Man and She Princess of Power, Secret of the Sword. Best of top, uh, best of He Man and Masters of the Universe seasons one and two, top ten episodes. Let's see, oh, season one of He Man, uh, He Man Shira Christmas special, bootleg again, <laughs> got from a uh, convention, Muppet Babies. This is another one, I don't think it has an actual release. This is another one where they have a ton of this 80s TV show was the best. Um, I know they have, like, a new one out now, which is okay, but they have a ton of scenes from, like, 80s movies and and music clips that there's probably a ton of rights issues with those. Um, Pee-wee's Big Event... I mean, sorry, Pee-wee's Playhouse, um, season one. Look at how many episodes... Well, there's 23 episodes, but there's so many discs, it's crazy. Um... Superheroes, DC Superheroes, Filmation Adventures. Not the best. This one too. Um, Superman, the new Avengers Superman, and the new Avengers of Batman. I feel like the Superman stuff is like really not that great. Uh, the Batman one's okay. The Batman one actually has um, Adam West and Burt Ward reprising their roles. Another convention pickup is the real Ghostbusters. It comes in two cases, and this one's like, well, don't mind the mess on the floor. Come on. It's like one of these where it's like 
they're all kind of in there. You see that? And they're not really labeled. So listen, you get what you pay for. Um, I know there's an actual, I just saw recently in Best Buy for like 50 bucks, there's um, a legitimate release. So I think I'm going to upgrade to that because these are like taped from TV. So again, pick that up at a, uh, at a convention back when you couldn't get these. So this is years, years, years old. So um, season one of The Simpsons, the only one that I have. Thundercats, um, season one, a little beat up, but it's got the lenticular. It's really cool. Picked this up at FYE about a year and a half ago. Uh, it's the complete animated series of Star Trek. Really cool um, case to it. And then getting down here. Okay. It's TV series now at this point. So we've got through the cart the kid stuff, the cartoons, and now the TV series. So Beverly Hills 90210. Chappelle show. Which I thought I had the other seasons, but I can only find that one. Herbie Enthusiasm, the well I have them out of order. First season. And second season, I think I want to try to get go on eBay and just pick up the other ones on. I have the first two on DVD, so I might just try to pick up all the rest on DVD. Entourage season one, I and mean, I'm not going to pull these out, but we have friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. So I need seven. This is the wife's. Um, I thought she had seven, but we, I guess we don't have it. Uh, the best of, and this is the final episode. Gilmore Girls, uh, Grey's Anatomy Season 1, uh, How I Met Your Mother, Seasons 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I need a couple more of those to complete it. Uh, the Complete Bean. These are just blank. Love Mr. Bean. My son, he's going to be 7, and he loves Mr. Bean. The other day we just... on um, It's on Prime, so... The old uh, kind of PBS or a &E, I guess, show. Uh, he loves it. But this is The Complete Bean. We watch that. We watch. There's a pretty good... The cartoon is actually pretty good, too. So it gets, like, the mannerisms perfectly with uh, Mr. Bean. One Tree Hill, Season 1. Knight Rider. So I'm going to show you guys something here. Okay, got you guys on the tripod. So Season 1, Knight Rider. Really nice set, you know, kind of glossy, kind of metallic. Um, nice set. You know, I'm not going to do a crazy unboxing, but, you know, it's just one of those nice, you know, folds out, got all the discs in its own separate compartments. Really nice. Season one, right? Got this, um, Mill Creek. DVD, the complete series, which, listen, you save a lot of room. It's, like, the same exact, right? But this is some, like, chintzy kind of paper. And it came... This is how it got to me. Beat up. And it comes in these sleeves. And, God, I hate these sleeves. Um, but, listen, it's the entire series. It's just... I guess you get what you pay for. Um, it was a gift. <laughs> uh, I think the wife got it. You know, she wouldn't, she wouldn't have known. And, you know, I like the show, so I'm keeping it, but Mill Creek, man, it's, I think they're, they're getting much better with their stuff, but that was terrible. Anyway, uh, Sopranos season one, really, again, another, a really nice, you know, these DVD sets were really nice back in the day. And it's got, you know, it folds out all the discs. Uh, Grace American Hero, season one. And, oh, come on. Muppet Show, season three, because who needs one and two or any of the others? All right, so I'm not going to pull any more out, but here you go. It's uh, season one and two of Three's Company. Great show. I watched that as a kid. I remember as a kid in the early 80s, mid 80s, um, watching that during dinner. <laughs> Just me and my mom. And I don't know if it was appropriate. I, mean, I think a lot of this stuff kind of went over my head. Um, but I just, it's just, I love that show. So I need to get the others. 
uh, Sex in the City season one, um, some Dane Cook comedy specials. Oh, uh, season one of Will and Grace, and some weird DVD, I've never played it, uh, Family Feud game, like really old one. All right, guys, so that's it. That's my DVD collection. That's part one of the series. Uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe um, if you haven't already. Um, feel free to leave some comments below. I always like to get some feedback. Until next time, see you guys in the Nerd Cave.